This conference will now be recorded. I want to discuss about the SQL Server in Azure. So generally, SQL Server is a RDBMS database system, relational database management system to store your structured data, your business data coming from your applications into your tables. In a database, we have several tables. In each table, we are going to store those tables, store those data. All right? So, in my local computer, this is my local computer. Inside this computer, we are going to store by installing a SQL server. To connect to this SQL server, I want to install a SQL management studio. Okay, this is my SQL server. This is my SQL management studio. Okay, this is a SQL server and this is a SQL management studio. Then this is my local computer. So this is in our local on-premises computer we are setting up the SQL server. But the same SQL server, I want to set up in the cloud environment. If you want to set up in the cloud environment, so what are the different kind of services related to this we have? One is Azure SQL database. Another one is Azure managed instance. Another one is virtual machine. Inside virtual machine, we have a SQL server. Okay, this is my Azure SQL database. This is my SQL managed instance. And this is my SQL in virtual version. So let me first set up the SQL server. SQL Server in my local computer. To set up this SQL Server, you need to install two things. One is a SQL Server, and the one is a SQL Management Studio. Okay. So anybody wants to share your screen to install the setup in your computers? Who wants to share your screen? Anybody? So what are the prerequisites to install this on your server? The prerequisites are Windows 10 operating system is required and uh, four GB RAM at least you should have. Anybody wants to share your screen to perform this installation? Okay, let me do on my machine only. So you need to download the SQL Server first. I'm going to download SQL Server. Click on the SQL Server download Microsoft. Select the SQL Server. On premises, free trial. Go to the SQL Server 2017. Select the executable file. Click continue. Give some basic information. You 
can give the mobile number as right click continue So it has downloaded it. So please start the initialization. Just click on here. Click yes. Click on custom. Click on Insta. So I'm sharing this link to everyone in the Google Meeting chat. All right. So under this planning, there is an installation. Please select on this installation. Under that, there is a new SQL Server standalone installation or add features to an existing installation. So click on it. So click next. Click next. Perform a new installation of the SQL Server 2070. Click next. Click next. Accept the terms and licenses. So, I want to install a SQL Server. Along with that, if you remember in our Azure, we are going to discuss about the we are going to discuss about the analysis services if you remember okay so that is one of the service available over here we are going to discuss that is analysis services so as a part of this analysis services yeah this one Inside the cloud, if you want to create a service, you can able to create the analysis services services. At the same time, if you want to set up a service, if you want to install analysis services in your local computer, you can able to install at a time along with the SQL Server. This is for SQL Server and this is for analysis services. Okay, then click next. Wrong? Yeah. 
Yes, part of my Power BI course. Okay, I have installed already this uh, SQL Server. That time yeah, I didn't select this analysis service. Is it possible to? I mean, like, is there any other alternative to select that one? You can install again, right? The next time when you are installing, select only the analysis service. Okay. So, if this is the first time you are installing, select the default instance. Or else uh, you can install, you can give some different name. So I'm going to give it as a batch 48 Azure. All right. So then click next. So you should not have any spaces over here. Then click next. Click next. So here you need to select a mix mode. So set any password. I'm going to set like S caps SQL at the rate of one two three four. Same password you can set S caps at the rate of one two three four. And specify the SQL Server administrators. Click on Add Current User. Click next. So it's a tabular model, add current user. Click next. Click install. So it is going to install the SQL Server as well as SQL uh, Server Analysis Services. Now I want to install a SQL Management Studio as well. The SQL Management Studio also I'm going to set up over here. So how to download that one? See, this is the download SQL Server Management Studio SSMS. Click over here. So, 8 GB RAM is enough for installing these two applications in my laptop, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you.
All right, it is almost uh, installation finished. So, what we are doing here, we are installing a SQL Server and a SQL Management Studio in my local computer. So, when you are installing the SQL Server and SQL Management Studio in your local computer, then what will happen? So, this is going to happen. Uh, this is going to happen all the infrastructure the infrastructure is running on your computer you have to take in care about the infrastructure you have to take in care about the performance of your uh, sql server you have to take in care about the backup and restore and all those things you are the responsible right so i don't want to take these responsibilities to run about my sql server with a better performance i want to move to the azure environment inside the azure environment with a good infrastructure so how to get the infrastructure like your local computer that is virtual machine inside the virtual machine i want to install a sql server so as a part of this you need to install a sql server inside a virtual machine if you want alone only virtual mission you can able to create the virtual mission a virtual mission is like a computer what you have in your local computer how you are using similarly inside the cloud environment also you can able to create a virtual computer and you can able to connect to that computer from the source from your local computer okay and then you can able to install that sql server and whatever the software is required inside this inside this cloud environment okay all right then uh, this uh, the next one is a sql server with a virtual machine with the sql server you can able to do or alone sql server sorry alone virtual machine without sql server you can install a virtual machine or a virtual machine along with the sql server also you can able to install two services two different services we have so simply go over here and uh, log into the azure environment so sql management studio also it has downloaded and simply you can able to install this sql management studio as well Okay, so meanwhile, I'm going to create a virtual mission along with the SQL server. Virtual mission with a, a SQL server. So how to do that one? So log into the Azure portal. Azure.com. Did we take this link? Sorry, sorry. I'm sharing this link as well. So I'm just pinging in the go to Google chat. So please download it from there. Right. So I'm going to log into Azure portal. Azure.com. Sign into the portal. Click on sign in. Click over here. Skip for 10 days. Now we can able to log into the portal. Turn the portal. So again log in here. Skip for now. okay now we can go to the
virtual machines. So this is the virtual machine is the independent service. Only a virtual computer will be created. If you want virtual machine with SQL, you need to select SQL virtual machine. See here, SQL virtual machines. Okay. So only virtual machine if you want to create, you can use virtual machine. Or if you want a SQL server, also you want to install inside the virtual machine at the same time when we are creating the virtual machine. So you can click on this SQL virtual machine. So simply select this SQL in virtual machine. Click on create. See, I told you right, there are three different ways you can able to perform a SQL services inside the Azure. One is SQL databases, another one is SQL managed instance, the third one is SQL virtual machines. SQL virtual machines. Now I'm going to select the third one SQL virtual machines. So simply select this image. So which version of SQL Server you want to install and what is your Windows Server you want to take, you need to select over here. I want 2017 Standard Edition or 2017 uh, SQL Server and Windows Server 2019. Okay, simply click on Create. Right, so what is the subscription free trial? What is the resource group? You need to create a resource group as well. A resource group name I'm going to make it as a e classes project. Then click OK. And virtual machine name is e classes e classes VM123. And this is the region is Central US region. And uh, image is SQL Server 2017 standard and Windows Server 2019. And what is the size of this one? The size is so what the size is nothing but your uh, capacity how many core processors how much memory you want to assign and uh, say i'm going to take eight core processors or four v core processors better you can take uh, eight v core processors how much cost is per month one lakh around per one month so i want to take a basic one only standard four v core processors 28 GB memory it is just 27,000. Okay, and set some username and password as well to log into your virtual computer. I'm going to make it as a e classes and uh, I'm going to set some uh, yeah. all right, done. Now you can select this inbound port rules RDP. I'm going to how to connect to this uh, remote virtual computer. I'm going to use the remote desktop. If you want to use HTTP, HTTP based request, also you can use. But I'm going to use this remote desktop connection through. I want to connect to this virtual machine. If you have any license already available for your Windows in your local computer, oh, sorry. Yeah, in your local computer, if you have any Windows operating system already available, then please select. They will give you some discount as well. Okay. I don't have any um, anything over here. All right. And the next thing is coming to here under the SQL Server setting. So you are going to install a SQL Server as well. So under this SQL Server, SQL connectivity. How do you want to connect to the SQL? Do you want to allow the people to connect to the SQL Server only inside the virtual machine, or do you want to connect? within the virtual network or do you want to connect public public means my requirement is i want to connect to the sql server whatever we are installing in a virtual machine from my local computer sql management studio sql management studio is a tool to perform the tool to connect to the sql servers this is the one okay i have already installed the sql management studio i don't want to install again and again okay simply for clicking install this will start the installation of the SQL management studio. I don't want to do this installation again because already I have installed. Okay, so let me select this private as a public 
port number 1432 connect and uh, there are two kind of authentications available sql and windows do you want to enable the sql authentication as well so select this sql authentication and the same username password i'm going to use over here and review and create it So per hour, how much it is going to cost? 38 rupees. Simply click on create.
so we don't have that much limit to make this many core processors means for free subscription they are not allowing to take eight core processors so definitely you need to take four core processors only. now we can review and create and before that sql server settings you need to enable this one and make it a public internet review and create it click on create Okay, so meanwhile, the SQL Server, whatever analysis services and SQL Server installation completed, let me connect to the server. Okay, how to connect to your SQL Server in your local computer, Unista? You need to open the SQL Management Studio. Let me open the Microsoft SQL Management Studio app. So whatever the SQL Server I have installed right here. So this SQL Server, this SQL Server, I'm going to connect from the SQL management studio. Okay, so this is my SQL management studio. How to connect to your server, whatever we have installed. If you want to see the SQL server, you need to go to the server name, browse for more. Under that, you can see there is a database engine. 
there you can see desktop ktdg batch 48 azure select that server name then click then click connect either you can use windows authentication you can use a sql authentication if it is a sql authentication username is sa password uh, we have set if you remember as caps as sql at the rate of 1234 or if you want to use windows authentication you don't need to provide any username password simply connect over here See, we are able to connect. Okay, this is the database. If you want to create a new database, you can create. The database name I'm going to give it as a e classes. db click ok right so this is my database inside this database you can able to create a table as well okay so let me see the deployment of this one yeah successfully deployed successfully created the sql virtual machine let me go to the virtual machine go to the resource so this virtual machine if you want to restart you can restart you can stop the service you can delete the service or if you want to connect to this virtual machine what is the ip address of this virtual machine c public ip address 40.77.71.230 then click on connect through remote desktop so click on rtp so you just download this rdp file and you can able to connect or you can go to the remote desktop connection see here there is a remote desktop connection so you can click over here and you can give this ip address whatever the ip address you can specify here or else if you are downloading that the same file will come see e classes vm43.rdp just double click on this file it will open rdp only remote desktop connection so this is the ip address we are going to connect click connect so username password e classes then click ok Click OK. Why the password is wrong? Okay, it's a capsule wrong. Click yes. See, this is my virtual computer. So, can I open the SQL server? Check whether the SQL installed. Yes. See, SQL Management Studio installed. Let me open SQL Management Studio.
Uh, is it going to pick all the applications in my local? Okay. Uh, is it good? Now you have created a virtual mission, right? In this virtual mission, you, have, you are accessing uh, this SQL Server Management Studio. And in this, uh, already in local, you did like in this SQL Management Studio, you have connected to SQL Server. That so in the different. same way, hmm? yeah, 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 go ahead, go ahead. So in the same way, if suppose I have some other applications in my local, so is it possible to access them through this uh, VP uh, virtual network connection? Um, I'm not accessing these things here. The SQL management studio and the SQL server, what I have inside virtual machine is a separate installation. Okay. Oh, I'm not going okay. to access these I install in my local computer. That is a different thing. Okay. So the service what I selected inside the Azure Cloud environment automatically it will create a virtual machine and it will install SQL Server and SQL Server Management Studio both. These two are different. These two are different. I, am, I have performed a new installation of the SQL Server inside the virtual machine. The service what you selected SQL in virtual machine. Okay. Let me connect to the SQL Server. Click connect. See the server name is different here. And this server is different. See I have a database right inside the server. Let's see whether the database you have or not. No, you don't have. This is completely different server and this is a different SQL server. Okay, let me do one thing. What I want to do, I just want to connect to this SQL server, whatever you install inside this virtual machine. This is SQL server, this is SQL management studio. What I want to do, I want to connect from my local computer to this SQL server, whatever I install. Okay, so how to do that one? Simply go over here. Click on connect. Under this click connect. We have a you need to provide this server name. Sorry. So before that you need to apply some features. What are those? Simply go to your virtual machine. You need to allow your virtual machine to access from outside. So to do that one go to networking. You need to add inbound port rules. Click on inbound port rule. Then simply click add. That's all. Under the networking, click on add inbound port rule. Then only from your local computer, you can able to access to this server. So what is the server name you need to give? Your IP address. What is your IP address? 40 dot. You can copy this one. Where is your IP address? This one. Copy this IP address. And uh, SQL authentication. E classes. Click. Done. All right, so I'm able to connect to the server what I have inside this virtual machine. Let me disconnect this one. See, for example, if I'm creating a database on this, the same thing you can able to see inside this server database. Let me create. E classes EMP DB. Then click OK. Done. 
So I created data. The same thing you can see in the virtual machine, the same server because uh, both are the same server. We connect C, T class C. So this is how what I'm trying to say. Instead of uh, setting up a infra infrastructure and SQL server, SQL management studio in your local computer, the same thing I am going to set up inside the cloud environment. The advantage is you don't need to worry about this virtual machine infrastructure. Everything they will take it care. Only you have to take care about your SQL server and SQL management studio. Okay. Let's meet tomorrow. We'll discuss further more about these things. Just try to. Don't forget to delete the resources what you created because for our 40 rupees will charge. So how to delete the resources? Simply go to the resource groups. Which resource group viewers? E classes project one. Simply delete it. Delete resource group. E classes project. Click delete. Right? So it's going to delete. Let's meet tomorrow. Thank you.